Okay, so we've got an interesting, interesting problem here. The uh, rear ABS sensor, my Discovery 3, has uh, been causing me a bit of trouble. I've uh, replaced one already and it's been into the garage to go on the diagnostics as I, I don't have that myself. And uh, they discovered the same problem, so they replaced yet another ABS sensor, uh, which is this cable here. And it was fine for a few miles and then died again, which was uh, quite frustrating for everyone involved. And we think we've identified the problem, and it's to do with the retaining clip in the, uh, in the knuckle here. It's either been damaged or it's come loose or it's missing and that's caused the prop shaft which is this bit here the main bearing and the front stub axle which is behind the disc brake here to drift towards me to, to basically the, the whole wheels worked its way out of the vehicle because it's not being held or retained by that clip so what I'm looking to do is uh, check the condition of that clip and if necessary replace it to make sure that the, uh, the wheel doesn't come out again and uh, I'll show you what's actually been happening to the sensor when I actually get that far so bear with me okay the uh, brake calipers are off the brake disc is off exposing the stub axle here retained by this nut this is the uh, two brake shoes for the handbrake so what I need to do now is take the whole knuckle off which means getting rid of this and those are on the side and underneath I need to take those bolts off as well and that will allow me to take the, the whole knuckle off press the stub axle out and get access to where the where the clip is. So, a little bit more work. Okay, the uh, all the bolts are off now. The brake shoes are off so I can get the handbrake cable out. And I've just disconnected the ABS sensor and you can actually see what the problem is. If I can get in nice and close there. Do you see the, uh, the wear? I'm going to get it to focus. There we go. It's actually worn through the plastic casing that should be um, round and you can actually see it's exposed some of the circuitry inside let's see if we can get a bit a slightly closer look okay so i've got it on the press and i'm just pushing the you can see the bearing is just showing there now and the fact that i could push the bearing out without removing any clips means that the clip would appear not to be there anymore so possibly it's been damaged rusted through fallen out who knows what um, we'll find out more when I finish pressing it out but um, it's not it's not looking too good at the moment luckily I have a replacement spring there we go which I picked up just on the off chance that uh, it was going to be damaged so it looks like that might be the problem and it's the actual um, bearing itself is coming out surprisingly easy, so um, it would. That, that's obviously the reason why it was uh, the wheel was, or the the, the sensor was damaged because the uh, the whole bearing has managed to drift out slightly enough to um, cause it to rub on the the prop shaft, the casing of the prop shaft. So anyway, there we go. Continuing. Okay, so here's the uh, stub axle and whole bearing. And here is the, the bore on the knuckle where the bearing should fit. And just this ring here, going all the way around, that's where the, uh, the circlip should go that retains the bearing. However, there's no sign of it. So it looks like it's um, been damaged, lost. Who knows where it's gone? It should, it should really have stayed in there, but for some reason it's come out. The only problem I've got now is 
usually when you press the bearings out, the outer case of the bearing should stay in the bore and the stub axles, stub axles should come out with the inner part or one end of the, of the bearing. So the problem I've got now is to get the clip in, I need to have the outer side of the bearing already in it. Otherwise I won't be able to put the bearing in. So what I've got to do is pull the outer side, the outer casing of the bearing off while it's in this position. So luckily I've got a bearing puller set and uh, I'll give that a go. I'll bring you back when I've, uh, when I've got it set up. So here's the bearing puller. Let's, uh, let's see how we get on. Well, that was fun. This is what I eventually had to do. The, uh, the other bearing puller didn't work at all. The actual uh, quite poor quality ended up bending the, the shaft. Don't know if you can see that there, but there you go. So slightly better view. This one, slightly better quality, different way of gripping. However, it's just this second broken free. You can see it's starting to come away there. So just, just there, it's the gap's increasing. So I've broken the initial grip. I just need to gradually wind it through now. So there's the outer bearing case now where it should be. And what I need to do now is fit the circle up. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. <laughs> no, is the quick answer. There we go. It's easy when you have two hands. So hopefully that should that should be okay. What I need, now need to do is re-grease the bearing and press the stub axle back in. Okay, there we go. There's the axle, the uh, stub axle back in. Tops up the grease. Added the circlip, should be uh, ready to fit it back on now. Okay, the uh, knuckle and the uh, axle assembly is now back on. Just added the uh, handbrake shoes. So I just need, now need to um, put the disc brake back on and the calipers. And hopefully, that should be everything. Okay, so everything's now back on. <clears throat> All I need to do now is fit the actual ABS sensor that was broken. So just to give you an idea, that's the one that just came out and you can see there's the wear. And if I put the other one next to it, you can see how much has actually been worn off. That whole that notch on the side should not be there. So hopefully when this goes back on everything should be back to normal. Okay so everything's back together. I've just climbed back inside. This is the first time I've tried it. So let's make sure I can get a better view. We. Start it going. Okay, let's go up. Awesome. There we go. Perfect, no errors other than the seatbelt, that's me. Job is done. <laughs>